this this I I did agree uh, on this uh, before I read the whole um, transcription and found what I found. Um, so if if uh, one week ago um, I agreed with, uh, with you, I don't agree uh, anymore with that because it's not possible uh, to have such videos because actually in the videos he's talking um, um, he is uh, stating that of course he is one of the um, um, uh, lecture team um, uh, member and of course he's talking for 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 the movement um, so um, uh, being in that position um, even though you put a claim a, a, a disclaimer um, or, or a, a sentence or whatever um, that doesn't that doesn't um, solve the problem because um, I don't think any member um, of Zeitgeist uh, any official um, I would say a uh, representative, I don't know if it's good, if it's the right word in English, um, any people who uh, represent um, the movement yeah, should... You, should... Sorry, sorry, Giovanna, we, we know your views already. You sent several emails about that, and I know I read through pretty much all your emails. I read through them twice, and, and I think that's why I've come to somewhat of an understanding of what your concerns are, and, and, and so I don't mean to cut you off here, but 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 the problem is is that not everybody is here to hear the concerns that you're raising right now and i think it's best that we do have people that like gilbert and whoever else we can uh to help us through this because and especially because peter asked that he, he said let's wait for the gca meeting so people are expecting gca meeting i, I just think that for now be, to address your concern i know it doesn't solve the problem but what i'm hoping is that it's it's enough right now to let the people know who do have concerns that we are we are thinking about it we are addressing it we do care about people's concerns and that's what we're doing right now until we can get everybody together to make a final decision on this am, am i am i making sense like I, i'm not saying it's the solution but it's just it's just something to do right now because you, you pointed out the ur urgency and I don't think we can decide to pull videos off or anything else. To me, it sounds like the, the, that the best thing we can do right now is just put out that disclaimer and let everybody know that not all views are, are uh, expressed are TZM. Um, look, if, if, you want to, if you want to put this um, disclaimer as I wrote, you should put it in, embedded in the video. So. Um, uh, the it doesn't matter if you put it outside the website because uh, I, I mean in the page who that is embedding the video because whoever can share the video and the disclaimer is going to go away uh, nobody's gonna read it if you put it on Facebook or, or wherever else so um, it must be uh, um, in case it must be embedded um, so that everybody not just a bunch of people, just everybody knows that. Uh, but I think the the most um, fair thing should be we take off the video for the moment until we come up with a decision, a decision, and then we uh, and then we we do something else. Uh, we, I mean, we we go on uh, with the decision uh, because. Um, uh, again, uh, I can't accept any insults from any rep um, representatives, from from any um, coordinators uh, of the of the movement. Um, I, I am sorry if I use strong strong words during in the emails, but it's among us. It's not public, and uh, but I don't I see the never... difference. I don't see the uh, difference well, there, Giovanna. Well, I, I didn't insult anything, anybody, uh, first of all, and um, um, I feel very, very bad about that video being in the public that everybody can see, 
So I would suggest, I would suggest until we don't find um, a consensus, consensus, we take off the video for the moment. You can hide to the public, um, Matt. You can hide it to, to the public and uh, um, and see uh, and wait until we have the uh, the final decision. I'm afraid okay. I'm going to have to. I'm afraid I'm going to have to object to pretty much everything you're saying there, Giovanna. I can respond to every single point you're making. Okay, I'm not sure if I should. No, no. If we should wait until other people from the GCA come here, but it seems like your concerns are essentially a minority here from everyone that I've spoken to. Now I've prepared oh, a no, state. No, no, no. I've prepared a statement for many of the concerns that you've raised through emails. I don't know if this is the right time to bring them up, but I'm more than prepared to do so. Well, uh, look, the minority doesn't exist. We are not in a democracy. We are reaching the rational consensus. That's right. And uh, it seems like so, what I'm presenting is actually the majority in terms of scientific consensus and everything else that I've touched upon. So. No, 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 no. You're wrong again, because the minority or majority doesn't represent the rational consent. It's not just the consent, it's the rational consent, which is different. Just one person can be, can be uh, also in the minority and have the right uh, thought, while the others don't understand what's going on. This is very, very different from, from what, what you are saying and from what is the, the uh, consensus. So again, it's not the majority who decides. Giovanna, okay. you haven't heard yet from me in my response to many of your points. Do you, would you like to hear them or would, do you just want to talk over me and, and dictate what your views are? No, let's, let's, let's hear what Matt has to say. I uh, I'm, I truly believe that you're a great speaker and you're a great, uh, you know, you have total understanding of the moment and you, I don't, I truly don't understand why you would put TZM in such a controversial position. That's my main concern. And I would like to actually hear what you would have to say. Sorry, I got disconnected and uh, I couldn't hear everything that you said. I don't know if you already did that or no. So I would like to hear your side of the story, uh, why you end up doing the video, because we actually got a complaint, like uh, I think a month back, someone from the Vancouver chapter saying that you were going to do this video already. And actually, Gilbert was supposed to take action and talk to you first before you publish the video. But, uh, okay, let's hear your that's side. That's not true, Steve. What's that? I believe that's true, Steve. The, the way I understood it, the yes. person who complained to the person who jumped into our meeting or into our chapter support meeting or GCA meeting, I don't recall, when they GCA complained, meeting. yeah, they, they were complaining about Matt's about Matt's use of language in Facebook discussions, that he was asserting that GMOs were this or that, that he was asserting that that uh, vaccines were safe, that he was asserting a lot of things and that he shouldn't be asserting things. And, um, and that he had mentioned that he had mentioned that Matt wanted to do a talk, but I don't think Gilbert was going to wait and uh, try to stop him from doing the talk. They were no, just going to address it the wasn't, cons it wasn't uh, trying to stop him. It was trying to get a hold of Matt to ask what's going on. Because he, uh, Gilbert said he personally knows Matt and he's going to talk to him. I don't think Matt is going to do that. That's what he said. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but it wasn't, it wasn't to stop him from doing anything. Or, or it was, it was yeah, only it to address the initial complaint of how Matt was asserting himself on Facebook with, under the TZM banner. That's right. So uh, let's hear Matt's side. Well, first of all, before I delve into it, this person is not part of the Vancouver chapter. He's uh, He came out to the booth at our one of our Vancouver setups maybe a month or two ago for the first time with a fairly poor understanding of what TZM has to offer into about as many conspiracies as you can think of. And uh, 
It just didn't like the fact that on my personal Facebook page that I was posting certain things that he didn't seem to agree with. And he thought that because I'm posting them on my Facebook page that therefore uh, that automatically means that TZM embraces them, which is, of course, nonsense. So is that, is that fair to say? And then I'll, I'll go into what I prepared for this for this meeting. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, uh, for me, my main issue was why involve TCM official, you know, uh, the official YouTube channel. Personally, you could do uh, and, you know, say whatever you want. But uh, TCM itself don't use, use the official channel to... Uh, because we we are you don't know what is right. You don't know if GMO is right or vac vaccinations are working. We don't know exactly because um, because of the monetary system, things get very muddy. It's hard to actually find out what's right, what's wrong. So till I think we are in an NLRB, we wouldn't actually get proper scientific fact. So, oh, not Steve, those are unfounded claims for a variety of reasons that I, I tried to talk about in my talk, but I'll, I'll try to expand upon them here, okay? so Go ahead. Okay, perfect. So I, I want to briefly recap the point of the talk and then respond to a few of the various criticisms I've received from people. I designed this talk to encourage people, first and foremost, to become public intellectuals, to hopefully raise the standards of evidence that people demand for their beliefs, both within TZM and overall in society. For a while now, I've noticed a strong correlation between a certain portion of TZM's membership and the tendency to promote dubious information. And this is very understandable to me. TZM questions the very core of our culture, being about as anti-establishment in this sense as possible. You know, we advocate transition from that of a growth economy to a steady state, from a competitive-based to a collaborative-based system, from a scarcity-based to an abundance-generating system. So it is understandable that in an organization that essentially promotes total opposition to our socioeconomic system and our values, that there will also be a tendency to reject so-called mainstream science and embrace alternative dissident positions regarding issues like health, agriculture, drugs, and so forth. Uh, most of these positions are indefensible in my analysis, and I tried to provide some food for thought for people to be able to go about assessing scientific research in a more rational, skeptical manner. That being said, I immediately made it clear in the opening of the talk that I encourage scrutiny and skepticism. In other words, don't take my word for anything I claim. Research the claims for yourself and arrive at your own conclusion. Furthermore, just because I claim something in a TZM-associated manner doesn't mean that TZM officially embraces what I say. And likewise, just because Ben McLeish or Jim Phillips or Peter Joseph or anyone else claim that something, uh, you know, claim something doesn't mean that they represent TZM's official position. TZM is, is about a train of thought. That train of thought is the scientific method for social concern, which means that our official position on any matter is that which re reflects the best of evidence available, not what any single person says. Just a sec. Well, if you if you uh, if you do just a, just a sec, just a sec, just a sec. I'm not, I'm not done this. Okay, sorry, I was just switching pages. Oh. Okay, so I do my best to come to a balanced, skeptical, near objective evaluation of the evidence based on my critical faculties, and I invite everyone to challenge anything I claim or anything that TZM claims. This is why I have a comprehensive source guide, transcript, and errata section. Errata means a list of errors or corrections. And I will endeavor to correct myself that people can submit to me good quality evidence that refutes anything I've said. So far, all of the criticism I've received, I've received has not done this. It has consisted of making bold, belligerent assertions about certain aspects of the talk and provided no evidence. I'll get to those in a sec. One more point first, though. The examples I used to substantiate my points were intentionally chosen to ruffle people's feathers a little bit, to try to get them to think a little more skeptically about many of these claims, ranging from climate change denialism to anti-vax to anti-GMO claims. These are hot topics, 
I know, these are hot topics within activist communities, but they are actually not controversial at all within the scientific community. This needs to be understood. If we want to be taken seriously as a movement by respected scholars, scientists, and other experts, skeptics, and ultimately the population at large, our image must communicate that of presenting the best available evidence on these topics. It does nothing but a disservice when TZM communicates, quote, the scientific method for social concern, but also prom the promotion of chemtrails, alternative medicine like homeopathy, anti-vax, anti-GMO, and so forth. Just a sec again, switching pages. Response to criticism here. So the first I want to ask to those who disagree with this talk is this. Are you familiar with the systems of analysis put forward in the video, or are they new to you? If the latter, what is it that you object to, and have you actually reviewed the sources in the talk? The bulk of the talk was to provide a system for assessing claims. If you disagree with it, what do you think is a better method? So far, I haven't received any constructive criticism as such. Another claim I've heard is that you're alienating many members who don't align with some of the specific positions you take in the talk. The point I'd like to make is that if you remove this talk, you jeopardize alienating many of the scientifically illiterate members of the movement. I agree. Despite all the negative reaction, I've also received a multitude of supportive messages from people who think that a talk like this has been long needed in TZM and that they are extremely frustrated with the anti-science and pseudoscience personalities in TZM. So keep this in mind. If we are concerned with what, with what type of people this movement is attracting, and I argue that we should be, that we want high-quality, science-minded, critical thinkers, then we need to be consistent in our message. The way we've presented ourselves in several areas so far breeds quite an audience of unskeptical thinkers. Apparently, this video, from many sources, has got the thumbs up by skeptic communities who have been previously, you know, have, have previously written off TZM. Uh, my friends Ben McLeish, James Phillips, Rachel Yap, Philip Blair, the Northern Ireland coordinator, and etc., and many others who are prominent voices within TZM have all voiced their concerns about this. Furthermore, please look at the likes to dislikes ratio of the video. At the moment, it's 191 to 19, demonstrating that the negative lashback on the video has been from a small minority making inordinate noise. This is unsurprising to me. I'm just switching pages. This is unsurprising to me as it's often the minority dissenters who are most noticeable. I had many consultants for this talk, including many PhDs and other science-associated mentalities. I've included those on the very final slide of the talk that you can review. So it's not like this was the sole effort myself, nor was the sole opinion of myself. It reflects the scientific community at large, and I made sure of this before I published anything. And the last claim, which was talked about a little bit already today, is that you should provide a disclaimer. Now, my response to that is that Every video by TZM promoters are a personal representation of their view of TZM, meaning the scientific method. So the disclaimer would likewise have to apply to be would likewise have to apply and be made to every other video that is associated with TZM in some way. I prefaced my talk in the intro to not take my word for anything claimed in the talk and to be skeptical of all my claims and sources, meaning I am in no way claiming that anything I say is to be taken at face value in terms of what TZM represents. We're all fallible, and the information addressed in the talk is my best understanding of the evidence, and again, not just mine, but corroborated by many scientist friends of mine, not to mention the scientific community at large. Thus, to put a disclaimer makes no sense. Every TZM-related video is ultimately the best representation of what TZM is, not an exact representation of it. For those who have a problem with any of the information, again, I invite them to bring forward reputable sources to counter anything in the talk, and I will correct it. So I'll leave it there and open up the floor. Well, uh, for, first, of, first of all, you um, copy paste all what you have written, uh, you you have just read, on on the same document, please, so that every everybody can. Um, uh, read that properly because 
not everybody is English uh, mother tongue. Um, so I might have uh, missed something, uh, as, as well as other people. Um, second, sure. Okay, thank you. Um, second, I have uh, put all my uh, points on the on the uh, document. Uh, so now I'm not going to read it because uh, all because we are going to have a, a, a three hours um, talk. So if you want to go and and see all the points, you can do it whenever you want, and everybody can can. Um, and the major point are in red where you are offending, where you are insulting with words like this is uh, lots of garbage or these are uh, confusionist and so on and I, I, I'm not I'm not going to repeat myself uh, I already written every everything um, can I respond to that? Point, those ones by the, the way point, sorry can I respond to those those claims by the no, way just a minute just a minute and um, by the way um, I'm not going to. Uh, I'm, I've already spent a few hours to do to do this. I'm not going to spend any other uh, hour to put um, uh, links to um, PhDs who say the contrary, uh, because you just Google them and you find them. Um, and uh, anyway, uh, again, even if ten PhD or uh, thousands or million PhD are against what you said. We are not a movement who are taking um, this or that part because we are not scientists. We are n no one of us uh, is going to be a scientist just because to answer to answer your video. And uh, the movement doesn't have to do anything with science. Okay, because we are promoting uh, a point of view and a possible society, which of course it has to be run with a certain kind of science, uh, science and certain kind of technology. But Giovanna, can are, I interrupt? Can I interrupt? You're making a lot of points. You are talking over me now. You're right, I am, okay. because you're making a lot uh, yeah, of claims well, that I you, can't you, respond to. Oh well, you did it before, so please take notes. Um, you, you did it. Yeah. So why you I did to... because so far you've been making a lot of claims that I haven't got to respond to. So if you if you want to have a, a proper dialogue, then you make a point, then we discuss well, it a little bit, and then we move on to well, the next you, one. Well, you you did you did just now just five minutes ago, and you said no, let me talk about it, let me finish, and you make a lot of points. So now I'm going I'm I'm doing mine. So if you want, you take notes and then you answer because you did it. Okay. So don't don't say that I did, okay? You did it. Now, if you want a dialogue, you should have not shuttered me up before. So you know you really you really need to think about what you do and what you say, and you are not Likewise. doing that. Yes, and you are not doing this because I I was. Uh, uh, talking before, and you said you sh shut up, please. I I need to go to go all through these points. Well, you did it. Now I do it. Giovanna, Matt was responding. He was trying to respond to the many many emails that you have already sent out. He was just trying, and his response that he just read was in response to all of your emails, right? And now you're you're what? coming back and you're making points. And he's just asking for you to stop for a second so he can address some of those very specific issues that you're now re-raising again. That's all. He's so, not so he, trying to do so, it. He's not trying to hijack the conversation on you there. Well, I think so you're being a bit unreasonable and a bit reactionary, Giovanna, and it's very no, concerning to me. No, really. So he can do answer to anything uh, because he didn't answer on email. So he can he can come around here, answer 10 point, and then... He wants a dialogue when I talk. Sorry. Uh, now, really, or we go, or we go civil, and and you make one point, and we debate that point, and we go to the next point, or we are not doing a, a civil discussion, and we you can't say me I'm doing this now because he did it. So 
No. He he did that, Giovanna, because you keep jumping in and interrupting and and making making claims without allowing Matt to respond to them. You just keep talking and talking. Now he did that just now. Again, he was only doing that because he had a prepared statement that he was responding to all your many emails, which you have already sent out and everybody has read. This was now Matt's time to talk. It was his chance to talk. He had a prepared statement and he was just flipping pages and he asked for you to stop for a second because as soon as he took a breath to change pages, you jumped in and he wanted to finish. That's all. He wasn't being rude. He wasn't trying to uh, to do that. But now he's asking for you to not do that. But just, and, and he's asking for you to now stop and now for you guys to discuss each point because now you're going back to those emails and bringing up more points again. So I think if you want to have a rational discussion, now is the time to talk about each point that you have, let Matt respond, and have a discussion between each point. Okay? okay I understand your concern, Giovanna, and, I, and I, I really do, and I really understand the concerns of other people that you've talked to, and I appreciate that you're bringing it up to the GCA. But I really think it's a good idea if you, you br bring – bring down the escalation level a bit. Because it sounds like, do you remember that conversation that we had with Victor and the Toronto team and everything that happened there? And it seemed like Victor, he was a little bit too emotionally invested to really see the value in, in trying to get those videos up. I feel very, very similar with you right now. That there's that you're that there, you're so caught up in this issue, that you're so angry about the things that Matt has said that you're not thinking clearly. I, I don't mean to insult you. I, I think you're brilliant, but I think you need to give, you, we need to de-escalate this. We need to calm down. And as Peter suggested, like this is getting blown a little out of proportion. So maybe we should take a step back, take a few deep breaths, and then come back and have, a, have the discussion. Well, I'm very rational and I know exactly what I'm talking about, Noel. And I know you my are. Voice... Sorry? But you, but my... Sorry, Giovanna. The problem is, is that I don't feel you're actually listening. No, I'm listening very much. Uh, um, my uh, character is a little bit stronger than uh, English people because I'm Italian, and Italian do talk in this way. Um, so uh, they are much more um, direct and less polite than English people. Uh, but I do very much know exactly what I'm talking about and uh, my mind is clear and I'm really, really calm inside, even though my voice is a little bit uh, different from, from usual. But that's because, that's because I'm very concerned and uh, I, I can't understand how, how y these, some people, uh, among among them, uh, Matt can't understand what they are doing and what they are saying. If I say, uh, if I say that he wrote that people are a lot of garbage, well, this is. I didn't offense. say that, Giovanna. Don't straw man me. If you want to understand oh, what on. I what I meant, then why don't you ask me rather than just make assertions? No, okay, you, uh, you wrote, guys, you hold wrote on, hold on, hold on. Joanna, yes. just ho hold on a second. Okay, let's go point by point to see exactly what your concerns are and what Matt's response is. This way, we can get one point after another out of the way. Is that good? Perfect. Okay, so uh, let's. Let's go from, it's, your concerns are in your dock, right, Joanna? Let's, let's do this way. Um, Matt, can you read again the first point of yours? So that I can answer exactly yeah, directly just, just... to that point. What, well, well you don't you want to bring up your concerns and maybe I can respond to those? I mean, I'm happy to reread my first point. It's up to you. Look, um, I have written everything. If you want, I can read it so you can record it. Um, or 
uh, as I did it a, a couple of days ago, maybe someone else um, wrote, uh, re already read it and, and is not interested in listening uh, again to what they know. Um, Can so, you just pick uh, something, Giovanna? Just just pick something. Like if you want me to recap something I've said, or if you want to re bring up one specific point, just do that. Okay, the ball's in your court, and I'll I'll try to respond to anything that you that you want to discuss. Look, uh, what I have written here is that you are insulting people without any reason and without any proof, because you are not a scientist. The, That's a good point. Uh, Let's discuss the official, that. The official, the official uh, scientist, scientist community is um, um, is not agreeing in inside themselves uh, itself. So there are scientists say saying something, and scientists don't uh, don't agree. And you yourself in the video say say that uh, a lot of these scientists are, uh, let's say, not not corrupt, but could be, uh, but also uh, maybe are hiding something, or uh, they are doing uh, their their owner interest. They are not um, everybody. Uh, sorry, everybody in the um, scientist community doesn't agree totally, hundred percent. On some topics. So why are you stating so surely, so hundred percent sure to what is right and what is wrong? And doing this, you are offending people, and also you are offending with hard words like lots of garbage, confusionist, and so on. Why are you doing this in the name of zeitgeist? Okay, well, you made a lot of claims there, so I'll try to go. Let's start with the, the point you made about me insulting people. Okay, now, I didn't insult any group of people. I did not make any ad homs, and I did not tell anyone that they were stupid or anything like that. Okay, now, you're, the, the point about being garbage was a strong statement I made about people. Uh, no, not about people, but about uh, the... the uh, the claims about homeopathy. Okay, it was just a singular, singular statement to make a point about how uh, certain scientific views are are portrayed in the media as though they have two legitimate sides. And my point was simply that there is no other side to homeopathy. It does not work. It is exactly like I said, a load of garbage. There are literally dozens and dozens of studies including many meta-analyses and systematic reviews, again, don't take my word for it, do the research yourself, that show that it works no better than placebo. Now, that is a scientific claim that you can look up for yourself, and I, in fact, provided several references for that claim. My choice to call it a load of garbage was simply a, uh, an, a, a, uh, an artistic, if you will, uh, choice of mine in order to get people to try to question their beliefs if they think that homeopathy is worth something. Again, if, if you can provide evidence that homeopathy does work uh, on any level, I will publicly announce that I have made a mistake and that I will I'll correct the talk that I've done. That's it. I'm not. I'm not insulting people. I'm. I'm. I'm making a scientific statement about a particular field of study. That has had extensive work done on it. Okay, does that make sense? No, at all. I see that you can't understand this, uh, uh, Matt. If you say to millions of people using homeopathy in, around the world that they are a lot of garbage, I'm sorry, Matt, but this is an insult. I and just responded are, to that, Giovanna. Uh, I didn't call them a load of garbage. You're, talk, you're going. You're talking all my voice again. Yes. So you are offending people, and I don't care if they are right or wrong, you are putting all those millions of people around the world, millions of people that are using homeopathy against TZM. You are doing this 
offending and dividing and having a lot of people, millions of people against the movement. Just Can I ask you a question? A couple of words again. Can I ask you a question, Giovanna, about that? Okay. Uh, okay. All right. So we're pretty critical in the Zeitgeist movement about uh, the capitalist uh, free market system. You know, we call it, we, we've called it many things throughout the years that it's a predatory, violent system that creates all sorts of suffering and income inequality and poverty. And then essentially that if you support the capitalist system, you're essentially supporting, you know, the murder of many people across the world. So would you state that by making such claims and assertions that we're also insulting people who support the capitalist system? The capitalist system, or simply that we're making an argument against that particular ideology. Well, you are not saying that they are a lot of garbage. Um, they, they, uh, what, what the, what the uh, movement says is that they are victims, uh, as we are. Okay, so that's another matter. And anyway, we are talking in general the system, and we are analyzing. Uh, what what's going on? You are not saying. You're not responding uh, to what I'm saying, though. Well, I am responding to what you to to your observation, um, and uh, you we we didn't say we didn't say um, uh, I don't know uh, uh, political uh, the the right the right wing uh, is all rubbish. Uh, we said that doesn't matter uh, right or left, what they are doing is not doing the they are not doing the interest of the people, but interest of money. But they uh, for, for their own uh, sake, uh, for for their own their own sake. But they are not rubbish. We we didn't say, I agree. We didn't use. So when when you talk about someone someone. Uh, you can't say they are just a lot of uh, a lot of I, garbage. I didn't. I, uh, Giovanna, you sorry, did, I'm going to have to interrupt. It. You did it. No, I and didn't, Giovanna. Did Giovanna, let me. I mean, you let, did you, not, it. you don't seem to be understanding. Okay, look, I did oh, not no. call people garbage. I called oh, an you idea. Did. Come no, on, I, you did it. You, Giovanna, you said you said it's a lot of garbage. Giovanna, listen to the talk. I don't have to tell you, you guys. You guys oh, just geez. just just. Sorry, for, just for a second here. So, Matt, in your video, there, there were a couple of references. You, used a little, you, you, you just mentioned earlier that you, you did intentionally use some strong language to get people thinking, right? Right, yeah. I didn't right. make any ad homs. Right, no ad homs, right? But, like, I think there was one point, like, and sorry for bringing this up, but I, like, didn't you call them quacks or something like that? Yeah, I refer to people as uh, cranks when they promote pseudoscience. Crank. That's what the definition of a crank is, someone who promotes pseudoscience. Right, exactly. So I, and so it sounds to me that what Giovanna is bringing up here, like e even though, uh, I say I don't want to put words anybody, in anybody's mouth, but, it's, but just by merely saying that or, or stating that homeopathy doesn't really work, that, anti, that, that vaccines are totally safe, just by merely stating that, all it sounds like to me that Giovanna is saying is that because people within TZM may not like and may not like vaccines because they may use homeopathy, that by calling it fake, that it creates a divide, right? But does that sound about right somewhere near correct, Giovanna? Yes, but okay. also. So let's sorry let, sorry sorry I don't mean to interrupt let let's stay let's stay on that point for a second see but at the same time what Matt's saying is is that based on the scientific evidence that he's pulled together he was merely stating his opinion okay and there's a problem here because we don't want people confusing Matt's views with the movement right okay. however the problem is is that because like Matt said, in the scientific community, homeopathy, vaccines, GMOs, like they they align with what Matt has been talking about. Okay, and I and I'm sorry that you you don't like that, Giovanna, and I'm sorry that those people who have the problem with what Matt said don't like it. Okay, but the reality is is that according to scientific consensus, even though there are sci there is science 
that is paid for by corporations. And even though there is bad science out there, poorly researched science, what Matt was pointing out is that based on all of the evidence that he's found, based on all the evidence that the scientific community comes to a consensus on that homeopathy isn't really doesn't really work that vaccines don't uh that that they are safe that gmos are generally safe now this is the general terms there are instances there are cases where these can be or that information looks otherwise but the bottom line is that there's a scientific consensus there and then for matt what giovanna is saying what all these other people are saying is that the language, the strength of the language that you use to denounce those views, it's like denouncing those people who believe in it as well. And that's the controversy, it seems. Is that, does everybody agree there on that? Yeah. Not perfect. Not really, because um, what, what, you, uh, what you are saying, Noel, is you are, that I, I'm objecting just the words. Uh, I'm not objecting just the words, because um uh to to uh to have uh, the uh usual example uh people used to think that the earth was flat and everybody were agreed with that now um science science is not a fixed thing you you when you have discovered something it's not that forever, and it's not the truth forever, because the other day, the, the, the day after, you can have a lot of discoveries and uh, with, that will change completely what we are seeing totally. now. So, yeah. um, so sorry, um, so uh, you can't decide that what scientists say today is the truth, and that we we members of TZN should uh, uh, should uh, stick stick to to those claims. First of all, because we are not scientists to value uh, what are the scientific um, discoveries. Second, again, because today to today it's like this. Tomorrow it's another day. Um, and uh, um, what and there are there are people there outside there who are stating different things phds doctors scientists and they are so, uh, the only thing is they don't they they are not part of the uh, uh, official community well what did what tzm is is it part of the official community no we are saying something different we are few we are very few we are just a bunch of people but we are saying something different. So if you um, uh, want to stick to the scientific um, uh, community, well, you can do it, and you, do, you do it in your name, in your Facebook page, in your YouTube channel, and you do what you want. You are allowed to do what you want, but you can't say that. I got a question uh, for you, Giovanna, on this. Again, you're talking on my, you are talking on my voice. Because you don't stop. Thank you. Thank you. And also, you are stating things that, for instance, uh, um, Peter Joseph uh, doesn't agree with because, for instance, about the 9-11, uh, he is completely uh, at the opposite of your idea, and you are insulting him again, um, doing, doing your statement. And you can talk now. Okay, so here's, here's a question I have for you. We in TZM up until now, all of its all of our members, including Peter Joseph, throughout dozens of talks, have made a multitude of scientific claims regarding income inequality and its effect on society, regarding competition, its effect on society, regarding the science of motivation, regarding our our technological and scientific possibilities with respect to our technical uh, capacity in society. These are all scientific claims that can be deduced through the scientific method, and you can look in the scientific literature to see if these ideas have merit. Same thing with everything that I brought up in my talk. So I don't understand why you have a problem with these and not those issues. My, my guess is that you have a problem with some of the stuff I brought up because 
they are seen as controversial within the activist community and that you, you personally don't agree with them. So you're uneasy about them being associated with TZM, whereas the other scientific claims that have been made up till now do sit in line with TZM. So it seems that they're less controversial and you don't have a problem with them seeing, uh, being seen in line with TZM. Okay, I have a question for Matt. I just want to know, like, uh, in the official uh, YouTube channel, uh, do you get to publish anything you want, or is it, do you go through someone to publish it? Is there someone taking care of that? Peter is the only one who has access to the, the channel at this point. Okay, so that means Peter already saw your video and he published it. So that means he was okay with your video? He has some few objections. He says he agrees with the bulk, the majority of it, disagrees with a few points, and he thinks that uh, like any scientific organization, or, or at least organization that promotes science, that... Uh, uh, you know, no video is going to be 100%, so it should be up to the critical thought of its members and its and its audience to discern what is true and what's not. So I can respect that. I, I don't necessarily agree with Peter on everything. Certainly things that I disagree with him on. Um, does that mean I have a problem with him posting certain things in tandem with TZM? No, I just take everything as as evidence and data and I evaluate it for myself. And I think that's what everyone should do with anything that's been released in relation to TZM. Okay, so I think uh, so far from what I have heard, I mean, um, with the anti-vax and GMOs, obviously there's uh, huge problems because a lot of people who are probably members of TZM come from those groups. So this probably brings a big uh, it becomes the movement a little bit stirring. You're stirring the movement a little bit, which is, I, I think, it's okay. But uh, in a personal note, I have a few friends who are actually doing research, and they know how. They tell me this was before your uh, your talk uh, last year. They tell me how they are being, uh, I mean, their research is being taken by the companies who are actually funding them and actually not being released. So that's why I highly uh, distrust the current scientific community because they always get, you know, pulled into different directions. Steve, can I respond uh, to that? By, yes, go ahead. So, yeah, that, that's a very good concern, and it's something I talk about quite at length in the video. It, it's, it's kind of strange that people bring that up when I made that like quite a central theme of the talk. So I, I brought up statistics about scientific misconduct, publication bias, corruption in science, about how often this happens. There's, these, are, these are claims that can actually be discerned and evaluated through science itself. So if you're going to make a claim that a certain field of science has been corrupted, it's not enough to just simply assume that there is there are conflicts of interest. You actually have to demonstrate that there are. And now if you're going to claim that, you know, the field the entire field of uh, vaccine science and and GMO science are completely corrupted by the monetary system, that's actually a claim that you have to substantiate. Now I understand there are there are scientists uh you know, working in these fields who uh um, you know, oppose the official consensus, but that's kind of immaterial to me. I, I go with what the consensus, uh, the consensus viewpoint um, establishes, essentially. And if there is superior evidence that I've overlooked, I invite people to submit it, and I will certainly uh, alter my position. That being said, I've never all in out, I, I never all in all out endorsed GMOs in the talk. I simply brought up GMOs once to illustrate. Um, a point I was making about retraction. So science, uh, science studies, scientific studies 
will sometimes get retracted because it was found that methodologies were flawed or that there were there were evidence uh, there was evidence of corruption or fraud. Now there was evidence of fraud with the GMO study that I brought up, so I mentioned it. I didn't say that GMOs were a, a phenomenal technology that everyone needs to embrace and that TZM completely endorses it. You know that might be my private view, but I certainly didn't say it. Uh, uh, in, in the talk, I simply talked about how this one study that was done on them was retracted and, and fraudulent. So, it, again, you you can't just say that uh, you can't just appeal to the potential of a conflict of interest in science. You actually have to demonstrate that such a thing exists and that the data that exists in a particular field is problematic. Again, I went over this in, in quite a lot of detail, and there's a ton of source data in, in the talk. And lastly, again, if you find superior data, I'll change it and, and offer an amendment. So, and I think that uh, that raises an interesting uh, kind of collision that's happening here, everybody, is that Matt, he, he, he expresses himself in his views on Facebook in his own way and he does and if he's pro anything he'll he you know he can say it and nobody we shouldn't uh, you know we obviously can't ask him to be quiet about it right that's his views it's his, what his what he wants to do um, but then I think because people see that on Facebook and then they see it in the video they can't make the separation and they can't hear what you, and, they, and it's harder for them to hear Matt when you're talking on the video, it, it's harder for them to separate that because they've seen your, your what you do online, right? So, but 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 Steve, your point there, what what Matt said, I, I don't want to lose that. Your concern was friends that you know have had evidence uh, uh, affected by corporations, and what Matt is saying is that if I understand things, Matt, uh, correctly, Matt, uh, Matt's saying that that you can't throw. All science out the window just because of those one those one those single claims you need to reinforce the claim your claim that 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 entire field of science is corrupt uh, rather than just use one single case is that right Matt yeah that's exactly it perfect uh, perfect explanation of what I'm trying to communicate well for sure I I understand that the thing is what I'm trying to bring out my point is that you cannot trust the scientists or the scientific community at this point because we are not in a RBE or the science is not clear because it could be, you know, pulled in every direction. Sorry, sorry Steve. So it's, can, it's, it's, yeah, go ahead. It's just like I, I, I feel that you haven't heard what I just said. Okay, like I understand that you cannot just blindly trust science and that there are conflicts of interest. But my point was that you actually have to demonstrate that there is fraud or corruption or misconduct in a particular field before you can actually assert for, for certainty that a particular scientific conclusion is suspect. Okay, and we do have data on this. We, I referenced several meta-analyses in the talk about how between 2 to 3% of all science is probably corrupt and fraudulent. Now that's 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 not that big a number. I mean, it's still significant, and that we need to be, pay attention to it. But you can't just say we can't trust any science, which is essentially what you seem to be saying. If, if, correct me if I'm wrong, Steve. No, no, I'm not saying you can't trust any science. Uh, what I'm saying is, uh, you're gonna get different different views and different different angles. You're not a hundred percent sure if this is the truth or not. So. Why put ourselves in a point where you're not sure if it's a hundred percent or at least ninety percent? Especially, let's say, uh, if you go to like vaccines or GMO, you don't know what is right and what is wrong. So why put our our position in the official channel in a point where we have? Everybody has to really think, is Matt pro-GMO and pro-vaccine while, let's say, you know, 10, 15% of our members are against it? Okay, look, two points there. Okay, n number one, 
I'm not, what I, I've already made this point. Number one, just because I say something doesn't mean TZM officially endorses it, okay? And that will never be the case. Just because I say something doesn't mean it's an official representation uh, of the movement. Just as if Peter says it, or if Ben McLeish says it, or Jim, Jim Phillips says it, or anyone else. Okay, so just because I endorse a position doesn't mean TZM officially stands for it. And go ahead and, you know, post a disclaimer on the official Facebook or Twitter pages saying, make, making that claim. But to put, put it on my video and no one else's it doesn't really make any sense. Anyway, number two, uh, we can never have absolute certainty about any, any, any field of science. So to wait until that position occurs, or to wait until that a uh, reality occurs doesn't really make much sense. I mean, we don't have absolute certainty about anything. We don't have absolute certainty about the current model for uh, for, new for Newtonian physics, right? I mean, in fact, we know that that's not even complete with quantum physics and, and whatnot. So all I'm doing is 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 trying to communicate what the best evidence that does exist for these uh, for these issues. All you know, it's implicit in science that information is incomplete. That uh, that we will be open to to new models and new information should 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 such a thing arise, but it doesn't make any sense to remain ambivalent to a position that is very much lopsided and conclusive within the scientific literature. And that's all that I'm trying to do. That's all I'm trying to do with uh, stimulating thought and trying to challenge people to reconsider their beliefs. When you say that vaccines are a controversial issue, you're essentially saying that there are uh, like an equal amount of voices within the scientific community amongst experts studying it who think that, yes, vaccines are uh, efficacious and safe on one side. On the other side, there's an equally, uh, e you know, equally valid voice that says, look, there are a lot of concerns with vaccines, you know, that maybe they cause autism and, and maybe they're not even really responsible for lowering the rates of many of the epidemics that we see. But that's just a fallacious representation of the science. I mean, if it gets so lopsided, that I'm trying to challenge people to actually look at the science. When you do look at the science of vaccines, you will see that of the hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of studies that exist now within the vaccine literature, like seriously, 99.9% .9 of the studies indicate how safe and efficacious they are, despite what a few fringe minority people want to say and do to scream at the top of their lungs to try to create confusion and doubt. Again, I made this point very clear in the talk, and I even provided a multitude of data to try to substantiate this. I, I hope that's clear. I don't. I don't really know how else to describe it. Okay. Well, let's make let's make another example that maybe is, it sounds you it sounds better. Now, GMO. Um, Ninety percent of GMO are owned by and created by Monsanto. All right. And they are not giving anything to uh, other science to scientists to to prove that uh, they are not safe. So uh, what we have on GMO is just their own statement and nothing else. So not true, are, not true. Well, not true. Try uh, to, look again. How can you be sure, hundred percent, that all what you are saying is is right? You can't say is right GMO. You can't say is wrong GMO. You can't say is right eleven nine nine, nine eleven. If you can, why why we are having uh, thousands of P of of engineers and and architects doing their statement? You can't say that uh, Omo um, uh, the placebo effect is not good because we are having millions of people being cured by the placebo effect and this is because just placebo is an effect and as it is an effect it does affect someone and people millions of people are are using placebo effect effects uh uh to to cure themselves i don't care if it's just uh if it could be just uh, um, uh, a mental masturbation i don't care we are offending and dividing the movement again again uh, uh dividing the movement or uh, with the uh, people who are believing in placebo and the people not believing in placebo i don't care I, I personally don't care about homeopathy, all right? But there are millions of people, and if you say that they are a lot of garbage, 
well, we are not doing the TVM interest. We are not doing. We are not putting people. Can together. you stay to one point at a time? Like it's it's frustrating. You go jumping all over the place. It's hard to have a conversation. Oh well. Uh, again, uh, you know, I've been putting all there, and you you are going on saying scientific uh, scientific uh, data because everybody uh, needs to be uh, a scientist, and the official uh, community says that. So it's true, uh, and that and this is all what you're saying. So I'm I'm and uh, I'm trying to make you thinking about that. First of all, we are not scientists. We can't say the truth is here and the truth is there. Second, you are stating in your video that uh, we can't rely on media, on book, on website. We can't rely on anything for any information. And then and then you say that, but we can rely. On the official, uh, on the official. Well, okay, let's let's rely on what Bush says. Do you want to tell me what I meant, or do you want to actually clar allow me to clarify what I meant? Look, it's it's written. You you are saying what is written here, and you re you wrote that. So if you want to read it again, please make make your the, your uh, make your thinking in, in a way that. What you are saying is not your position because you are telling this by with with the TCM logo saying by saying that of, um, for the movement and not in your person because you are saying that you are in the team uh, in the t uh, in the lecture team so you are talking for the movement while you should be talking for yourself. Because your idea, you. your idea, sorry, your again, you you keep you keep going on my voice all the time. Now you because you keep going on and on, again, I can't respond. Again, again, you are saying you are saying things that are not scientifically hundred percent, and you are nothing. Nothing in science. Nothing in science. Zero. No. Right. No science is one hundred percent, Giovanna. That's and Matt right. has not Matt has not claimed that science is 100%. Matt has no, not he, claimed Matt has not claimed that GMOs are 100% or anything. All he yes. has done is pointed to the fact that there is bulk there are bulks of evidence there, that the evidence points to a certain degree of truth in the science well, toward these topics. And it's no. and he but he is not asserting that. And it, the the it's very interesting because you're talking about how it's causing concern. What causes concern for me is that we've created a TZM manual that is based on scientific evidence, and yet we, it doesn't seem that, that even though you, you've read through Matt's, uh, Matt's discussion, it sounds like like you're saying that he needs to kind of word things in a certain way. I wonder if you need to read them in a better way, if you need to read them for better understanding, because from what Steve has mentioned, from what you've mentioned, I'm not getting the sense that you fully understand what Matt is doing here. Now, I agree that Matt uses very strong language and he, and he's very challenging with people online. Right. And, you know, maybe there's something that we, you know, that Matt might do for that, right? I don't know, right? To kind of calm things down, right? But I, I think that there's a certain level of misunderstanding on what, Matt is, what Matt's intent is. And I think it's a result of the lack of understanding of really how science works. And I say this, my friends, because I'm part of a skeptic uh, group in my community here, and we and pretty much everybody is a scientist there. And I used to be anti-vaccine, okay, with flu with flu vaccines. I didn't I didn't have my kids vaccined for three years because I didn't trust the vaccines until I started talking to my friends in the scientific community, and I had raised the concern that I didn't trust the government because I didn't know if the government was being paid off by the pharmaceutical company to tell us that these vaccines are fine, okay? 
and they explain to me that even though there's corruption within the scientific community, the science, the, the, the scientific method itself, it protects, it helps bring credibility to those ideas because anybody can challenge those ideas. Okay. Well, and what Matt is doing here is he's, is he's presenting the, that evidence as he understands it, which he's clearly said that he is open to debate on. He's open to people proving him wrong, and he will, and I know he will. If, I, if, you, if we presented more evidence to show any of those topics in either way, I'm sure Matt would change his view on that, okay? But I, I still think that the point is being missed, that Matt's point is being missed, because it's, it, the, the, because the, homeopathy, whether you like it or not, there is absolutely no scientific evidence to claim that it works. Whether it's placebo or not, there's no scientific evidence of its effectiveness, okay? And if we have a problem with that, and if we shy away from that, then I think, and most importantly, if the people a part of the TZM movement, if they can't let go of that, if, they, if they're not willing to embrace the scientific method fully, and if they're only willing to cherry pick the science behind everything that we talk about, you know, or anything outside of what TZM is about, I think I, I would per preferably, I want to know who those people are, because quite frankly, I, I want people part of the movement, but if they don't understand the science, I think they're going to create more damage than good. And in this specific case, it sounds like it's creating more damage already, because I don't think Matt's point, because I think Matt was very clear, and yes, I agree, again, he is very forward and direct in his approach, and not many people like that. But I think it, the point is being missed. I think you guys aren't really understanding the scientific method, because Matt, has, no point have I ever gotten the impression that he believes 100% that he's right. That, that's not how it's been going down, you guys. And and. That's all I can really offer in this conversation, my friends. I, I actually have to go. Well, um, uh, we are not a scientific moving, movement. We use the scientific method to arrive a certain kind of reasoning. So we are not going to say this science is good, this science is bad, okay? Because we are not scientists and the movement is not is not aiming to be a scientific uh, movement because we are not doing any scientific research and Correct. not we're doing pro any science. Uh, are you can't, can't you stop science. can't you stop guys giving on my voice all the time Thank no you. i'm sorry giovanna you talk oh, well. far too long about too many things to, to for, for, we can't respond because you talk for Thank five you. minutes you talk for five minutes. We ha we have to cut off at some point so we it. can address some of your Thank concerns. You. Thank you. Now, we are not a scientific movement because we are not scientists, and this is not the GRO, the GRI, okay, uh, which is which should be uh, a kind of scientist uh, group uh, to to go through uh, some kind of. Uh, um, studies. Uh, the movement is spreading awareness about the causes, the, the uh, cause who uh, brought up to this kind of world up now and proposing a new way. So this is not, this is not a movement who say uh, placebo effect is rubbish, okay, because it's not up to I didn't to say us. that, by the way. You did it, and you can read your own words. Uh, yes. Okay. No, I didn't. Yeah, I you said, did it. No. You did it. Then you're just and misunderstanding, Giovanna. Why would I lie about what I said? Look, it's written, you know? Well, it's written. I, I'm going, you know what, what I'm going to do? I'm going to publish my documentation and your and your video everywhere So and, and see if other people doesn't understand what you, what you, uh, um, what Go you for wrote, it. okay? Uh, so let's say that maybe uh, you didn't say rubbish, uh, you said garbage, yeah? 
you said that a lot of people here you're not even responding to the points giovanna are, again i'm are, gonna have to wrote, cut you off because you're not making you any wrote, sense you wrote also you are you also you all um sorry apart from um now again um you you did insult people saying that there are a lot of garbage and Giovanna, can I respond? Claiming, you're not claiming making, you're that just, that's not true. Claiming, uh, claiming all people who don't believe on, or don't trust the official, the official um, science community is um, confusionist. Okay, so whoever, whoever wants to uh, brought up d new evidences and new studies, they are all rubbish. Okay, they are all Okay, do I at some point do I get to at Giovanna, at some point do I get again, to respond again, to what you're talking about? Again, or are you just again, gonna keep talking and making again, points that are, are irrelevant? You are talking on me and you want to you You're want right, to be because right. you don't stop. You want because to be you don't right. stop and you just and keep that's it. Re repeating. And there isn't any other thing. You want to be right and that's it. A again, against what you wrote, you are talking against what you wrote. So no, I'm not. Why don't you make it. one point, Giovanna, and then I will respond. That's how discussion happens. You don't just now, make a bunch yes, of seven. I made you don't... one point, and nobody here. You made apart multiple. From Steve, nobody here, apart from Steve, can recognize that calling people a lot of garbage is an insult. It's because but I never did that. You did it. No, I called an idea garbage. If you don't understand how calling an idea a Doesn't lot of garbage. Matter. Enough. Do I get yeah, to respond are, to you, you or are you just you going to interrupt me, Giovanna? I'm, I'm, about, I'm about to leave this meeting because you're not even listening to anything I'm saying. And I don't think anyone yeah. else is going to take you seriously if this is how you're going to be. Oh, yes. And about about 9-11. Okay, let's talk about 9-11. So, you know, so now you're now, just going to ignore Jones, anything Peter that I have Jones, to say and Peter then keep Jones on to the next say, point. Great, wonderful. It's exactly the contrary uh, of what you state. So? Okay? And there are a lot of engineers and a lot of uh, architects that are not agree with you, okay? And you can't say that they are all uh, confusionists. You can't insult people. I haven't. Okay, so I, I, think, I think we've gotten far enough. I think we've gotten escalated enough until we go to the next GCA meeting, everybody. Again, I, I'm not trying to be the boss here. We're all getting a little, we're getting back up to the escalation level. Giovanna, I really do apologize for talking over you. I, I don't mean to, I didn't mean to be rude. Um, it, I hope you're not insulted I, like that, but you do seem to t make many points in one long uh, talk. And, and I think I do the same thing too. So my apologies, but so can we end off on, on some kind of positive note here, you guys, like, with so is there can can we Giovanna like Matt can you put a disclaimer in the video is that possible or or do you do you just think that's not a good idea at this point well I mean my point was that you know if I put a disclaimer in my video then essentially you have to put a disclaimer in every TZM video to to warn people that anything that any TZM, TZM member says um, is not necessarily a representation of the movement so I'm, I'm happy to put that disclaimer somewhere in general but i just i think it's kind of inconsistent to put it just on my video what do you think matt? i i i hear what you're saying matt so steve i'm out of my 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 league here like i you've been here longer than i have do you do you think it's okay like do you think it would be a good middle ground here if we just send out a quick burst a quick blast to through Facebook, Twitter, and our website, just to say that our views don't, you know, views expressed are not those of the TZM movement. Nelson, I think you you might have an opinion there. Well, sorry for being late. Uh, I'm a little sick, and uh, I've been listening to you. And uh, I need to say I don't have problem with the with the mad video. I don't have problem with that. And I agree, maybe it's necessary to put some kind of disclaimer, but uh, in general. Cool. Well, yeah. I, can, I, can, I can certainly put a, because uh, I, I can post for TZM Global on Facebook, I can certainly put a disclaimer uh, 
that stipulates exactly what we're talking about, that all TZM videos are not necessarily a representation of an official TZM stance, and that all information is simply the best representation of what uh, its members advocate. Yeah, I think I think if if you send that to whoever, sorry, Steve, uh, go ahead. Yeah, I think you should put it as let's say if you're putting it for your video, as you said, only for your video doesn't make sense. It has to be for everybody. I think in the official channel we should have something saying whoever the, who the speakers are uh, that's having a video or a lecture as their opinion, not an official TZM opinion. Does that make sense? Well, um, it, doesn't, it doesn't make much sense when he talks for the um, Zygus movement with the logo of Zygus movement uh, saying that he is uh, one of the lecture team. Um, so he's talking uh, not with with his own voice, but with the voice of TZM. So if he if he says if he says I think this, that's okay. I mean he can say whatever he thinks. I don't care. Um, I he can say that uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe astronaut or or idiot. That's okay. I don't care. He can say whatever he he thinks with his name. And he can put it, and he can put it if he wants, also in in the official channel. Fantastic, okay. But with his name, not with the name of the movement, because he is talking for the movement. And this is not fair for those who don't think like him. So it's not just me. There are thousands of people. Not uh, they are French. They are French people. The chapter, uh, French chapter, the Italian chapter, the Canadian uh, members. Um, here, these represent the uh, also the uh, Sri Lanka chapter also uh, himself. So I think there are a lot of people who don't agree with Matt's statement. So he should talk for himself with his name. Okay, and I think. I, I understand where you're coming from, Giovanna. The, the the thing is, is that I think there is there's an equal, or probably m maybe even more people who don't have a problem with Matt's video and who may be offended that it was pulled, right? So because we can't come to a consensus on that, I think a good middle ground is to put out the disclaimer. I, I know it's not what you want, Giovanna, but. Uh, but if we, at least if we put out the disclaimer, it addresses your concern. It shows that we're that we're addressing the concern that we're not trying to, you know, that not everybody's view is necessarily about what TZM is about. And I think in my, I think that's a good middle ground. Like it, it's better than nothing, don't you think? I think it's a good idea. I also agree with no. Yeah, I, I I don't think you could go more than more than that because uh, no matter what it is, it's already out there. Just pulling it out doesn't make any sense because that will reflect bad. Just just leave it there, put the disclaimer, and uh, that's it, and move on. Um, in my point of view it's good to you know just butt heads a little bit and get things out uh, it actually improves the movement I think so uh, I mean I'll try and get some of the stuff for anti-vax and and uh, I'll send it to you Matt uh, I have your email so I'll try and do that through my friends, probably, because I also have some doctor friends who totally told me not to vaccinate my son. <laughs> so uh, I'll try and get those details to you. Probably that might make some, you know, uh, that might be some help.
Perfect. Please. Thanks, Steve. That's that's exactly what I'd like, and that's I think the best way to move forward as a society. And uh, if we want to promote science, that's the best way to do it. So yeah, absolutely. Please send me anything that you've got, and you know if it if it makes sense, if it's convincing, I'll absolutely uh, provide an uh, provide an amendment. Uh, other than that, it seems like most of us agree here that the uh, the, the general disclaimer is is sufficient, and I think we can. I will uh, I will run this by with Peter just to make sure that that he's on board with this uh, that that's what we decided here and I'll post that on the TZM Global Facebook page and we'll move on. Well, Matt, before you before you send sorry, Giovanna, Matt, before you send that out, you just reply back to the whole group that the email started with, and then everybody will just have a look at it and if anybody has any concerns that they can add to it, and then we'll and then we'll send it back to you to post. Right. Sure. Yeah, I I just don't want to go in circles with with what Giovanna said already today. I think most of us seem to be on on the same page with and and have reached a consensus with respect to what we're we're going to do. So yes, I I can certainly respond to the email thread and I'll include Peter on it. Look, we we are not uh, expressing um, the consent, the final consent. We just uh, uh, agree for the moment to put that statement, okay? Um, so the discussion is not finished here. Um, I would pray, uh, Steve, to put those links in this document we are uh, having in the Google Doc, where are all the other uh, observations. Um, and uh, uh, the, only, the, other, the other things because before we close here, um, first of all, it's not finished, um, uh, is that Maybe uh, is just uh, um, Peter Joseph having the access to his channel, but you did put the um, the uh, um, the article and the video in the blog without any proofreading. Did you, Max? Yeah, it was proofread by a couple of friends of mine, and since I'm an editor and proofreader and publisher. I went ahead and published it because it is a an accompaniment to the lecture that I gave. Yeah, uh, could you uh, could you write the names of the people who proof proofread for you in the in the email you were going to send to everybody? Everyone on the consultants page on the end of my lecture. So Ben McLeish was one of the main people. And the other one. They're all there on the last slide, so there's seven okay. people in total. Okay. Okay, friends. Steve is uh, probably running at about 3.30 in the morning or 4 in the morning where he is. Is there anything else? Can we can we close this up for today? That is not finished here. That we didn't reach a final consent. No, I why, why not? Just, just because you're not satisfied no, or just, what? No, just because me and Steve, they are not are not agreeing with you, and oh, uh, there are and there are a lot of people outside there that are in the movement that do do not agree with you. Uh, so for tonight, we leave it, put in that statement, and that's what it that's what we said, and that's okay, but it's not finished here. No, uh, guys, sorry, I think it's not a good idea if we will speak about this, the same issue at the same at the next uh, GCA meeting. Perhaps it's better to uh, resolve this conflict in written form when uh, every, each of you writes some um, claims and answers in, by emails and it would be better because I don't think that you will reach consensus why you speak in such way? Because uh, you are you are just arguing, and you will you will never reach consensus in this way. I think it's better if you write some evidence uh, in your emails, and you write uh, your response and everything you want in just in your emails. I think it's better way to resolve this conflict. conflict. Yeah. I think so too. It's uh, much better because this is getting very heated and it's it's not good. Um, okay, so for now we put the disclaimer and we'll go through emails and try and 
uh, hopefully change Matt's mind. But I don't plan to actually, I don't think it's a good idea to pull back the video, which is, which is bad. I, uh, I don't think it's a good idea to pull the video out. Uh, whatever it brings, let it bring, and uh, you know we'll uh, we'll fix it the way it is. And uh, if there's a little bit of stir, maybe that's what TZM needs a little bit. So uh, the video should still stay in there. Just have the disclaimer, and if people don't watch and see see what it is, uh, if if they don't want to read that's that's their issue and uh, you know you can't do anything about it but don't uh, i don't want the i'm not in favor of pulling the video out which is not a good thing well i don't agree perfect so i think we'll move forward that's uh i think everything is said that needs to be said and steve yes definitely that's uh I'm absolutely open to my mind being changed, so please definitely send me evidence that you have that contradicts anything I've said, and we'll make the necessary corrections. For the meantime, I'll send the email out to the team and uh, get in touch with Peter about our decision here today, and we'll get that disclaimer out. Okay, thanks, man. Nelson, could you stay on a little bit? Uh, it's already four, so therefore I'm going to stay another half an hour. Do you have time, Nelson? I think uh, a bit, uh, Steve. Okay, thank you. All right, thanks, guys. Let's uh, wrap it up, and we're done with this. Okay, last point, you guys. I just want to say that I really appreciate Giovanna. I'm not trying to, to uh, you know, kiss anybody's butt here, but I do appreciate Gi Giovanna's passion here and her standing up for her view. I, I think that she may be a minority in this discussion here, but I do I do appreciate her raising her views, and I think we should all appreciate her her bringing these concerns to us, uh, and and um, you know and you know hopefully we can do it again a little more calmly, possibly over email like Oles uh, Alexi said, but and and Steve, but uh, but Giovanna, I I I don't know if it's I don't know how it feels to be on the end on that end, but I I do appreciate all the work that you do for TZM, okay. Well, Matt, I'm sorry for you because you don't understand. That's it. That's all I have to say because I've been trying to say I, I wrote down anything. Um, I will cover you with things against what you said. Um, and I'm really feeling sorry because you don't understand what you are saying and how you are saying that. And I, I really wish you step up a little bit and you can, and I wish you can understand a little bit uh, and and see the people a little bit different from uh, from what you are doing now. And I'm sorry for because uh, my English is still very poor, and uh, probably I get um, I didn't explain myself very much, uh, but. Uh, um, I can't do better than this. Um, I'm, I'm improving my English, but that doesn't mean that I, feel, I firmly uh, think what I state. Uh, and uh, I'm pretty clear in my mind to what I want to do. Um, and uh, you will see that. Thanks, Giovanna. I, I really... Uh... Seriously, I am appreciative of the work that you do with the movement, and I am also likewise sorry that you cannot uh, seemingly understand my point of view. Um, I, I'm always open to changing my mind, but it's going to be reason and evidence that changes it. So far, I've yet to be convinced about uh, uh, you know both what I've said in the talk and with how it, it sh we should proceed here in terms of your recommendations, but... Uh, I'm sure we can keep the dialogue open, hopefully less emotionally heated than it was today on, on all of our parts. And I think we should just move forward and, and try to learn from, from this experience.